when I want to solve this, the first step is to get the absolute value by itself. So that's first minus the 1 over. That's gone. Gives you 3. 6 minus 3x equals 18. Now the absolute value is still not by itself. So to get this absolute value completely by itself, I have to get rid of the 3. The 3 is multiplied on, so you're going to divide it off. I now have the absolute value completely by itself. And that's what we're looking for. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Now, once I have it like that, I can now solve this by making two equations. Because what's inside the absolute value is going to equal 6, as well as what's inside the absolute value could also equal negative 6, because the absolute value would then make it positive. So again, what's inside the absolute value, which is this, could equal 6, or it could also equal negative 6. So we're going to solve both of those. And that will be, will be done. So when I minus 6 from both sides, I get negative 3x equals 0. And that confuses some people. They go, uh, what, what does that equal? Well, we just divide by negative 3. Watch. You just divide by negative 3. And your answer is simply going to be x equals, well, 0 divided by negative 3 is 0, which is 0. That freaks some people out, but it's just 0. We're done. Now this one, when we minus 6, you get negative 3x equals um, negative 12. Oops, there should be an equal sign here. Call me that a negative 6. And uh, here we divide by negative 3. And you get x equals, a negative divided by negative is a positive, so that is 4. Those are my two answers. Absolute values will have two answers. Set one up normally, set one up with a negative. Make sure you drop the absolute value and you make your two equations. Next, to solve this type, you have to first think if it's an and or an or. Since this is a great tour, it is an or. So we're going to do the same thing as we did over here. So the absolute value is by itself. So we're going to have 2 minus 4x. Leave it as normal. But great tour, so that's an or. We put the word or. And I'm going to write 2 minus 4x again. But now I'm going to flip the sign and change that to a negative. And now I solve both of these. So it's very similar to this one, except you flip the sign. And the same thing is you have to get the absolute value by itself. Anyways. Um, let's solve this. So I minus the 2 over. So we got negative 4x is greater than 8. Over here, I'm going to minus the 2 over. I got negative 4x is less than negative 12. And next, I divide by negative 4. Now, in the process of an inequality, when you divide by negative, the sign does flip. So that becomes a negative 2, and the sign flips on you. Here, I'm dividing by a negative again. So this one, the sign's also going to flip. That becomes a positive 3. Don't forget the word or there. And that is your solution. Now, we can also graph this, and we need to graph it. It says right here to graph. So to graph this, ors always go out. So here's 0. I'm just put negative 2 there and 3 here. All we do is graph this one. So that's an open circle at negative 2, because it's not or equal to. It's just less than. So it's open, not including negative 2. And less than is this way. So that means any value is less than 2. And over here at 3, not including 3, it's going to the right or greater than. That's how you would graph it. Ors always go out. Ands always go together. If this was an and, you write the equation in a different form. These are a little bit more complicated, a lot more spots to make a mistake, so be careful.